Hey buddy, I'm Brian. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jordan. Hey Jordan. So we were gonna talk about the sunburst nems a little bit. Oh for sure. Do you want me to go over there? Yeah, yeah, let's okay, go. Cool. Hey guys, I'm Brian with Take It Easy, and who am I speaking with? Jordan Mobrick. Jordan Mobrick, where are you with? I'm up in Freeland, so it's about an hour and a half north of Lansing. Here. So okay. In the middle. Not much of the rivers up there, but you know, started a new channel on a little maintenance tank and just trying to go from there. A lot of interest in it. I love it. Cool. I dig the rig, I dig the simplicity. I can see the mic is there. Hopefully, you're catching me. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the Chicago Sunburst. Now, first of all, we didn't come up with this name. People started calling our enemies Chicago Sunburst. So we ran with it. So we're from Chicago, we have a service company. Uh, we also have a fish store that is near Wrigley Field in Chicago. So the Sunburst that we brought today, on the forums they've been discussed a lot as far as what lineage and what is the lineage and what kind of Sunburst is it. And so uh, we decided to go with the name that was popular. People were referring to them as Chicago Sunburst. Now, what that means is there's a green streak that goes along strong around a lot of the tentacles that are in there. And we brought different ones so that you can see that they go through different stages. We have a uh, kind of like an orange phase, kind of a more of a red phase. But at the end of the day, when you have a tank that is well established and doing well, they will turn out like this boy right here. This guy's already sold, but this is a very mature adult uh, Chicago Sunburst. Now, if you put an adult Chicago, if you have an adult Chicago Sunburst, doing its adult thing, adulthood, living in a very established reef tank, what then happens is you see our friend down here. This is like a very mature adult. You see the coloration that's coming out of that? It's more purple and more gold. So a lot of these colorations change. And some of these smaller ones, which are natural splits, we do not cut any of our anemones, by the way. Cutting, it's bad, bad. Well, in my opinion, if you can feed something to make it what we call fat and happy, and let it do it on its own, why not do it that way? Cutting it is a little, it's a little barbaric if you ask me. So we like to feed, like to nurture it, make them fat and happy, watch them split. And these are some smaller ones and you'll notice that they have obviously very different price tags. But also they, uh, they over time will grow into adulthood and get larger. And then when they split, another little known secret is they don't like to be alone. <laughs> they actually stay together. So if you look down in the middle of the step at the very bottom, there are two uh, Chicago Sunbursts that are next to each other that are very different in color. And so a lot of times people can confuse those for what they call a lemon drop or they add different names. So it was almost like a public service announcement for us to bring this many uh, Chicago Sunbursts to explain the differences between all of them. Meaning there is really no difference other than their stage of coloration. And they only get like a good wine, they get better with age. Same thing with these guys. They will split for you, but they still need to get into adulthood to really show that great color. And uh, any more questions, feel free uh, to reach out to us at Clownfish Rule at Tank It Easy. We do ship all over the U.S. And uh, also, Tank It Easy TV, our YouTube channel. We greatly appreciate uh, the love of following what we do and giving us feedback of what you want to see more of. We, again, we service a lot of fish tanks Monday through Friday, and we have a, a fish store as well. So we're showing custom builds and design the whole process. And so if you can let us know what you want to see, it helps to guide us because we have a lot of uh, material to cover and share. So until we meet again, take it easy. The best is yet to come. And this is Lansing, Michigan. This is one of the biggest shows in Michigan. It is the Michigan Coral Expo. I think I said that right. Anyway, thanks for watching. watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.